The objective of this video is that students will be able to find the area of circles and sectors. So first, talking about circles, we've done this earlier in the year, but as a refresher, the area of a circle is pi r squared, where r is the radius. And um, one way to remember that is that area is in square units. And so that's the one with the r squared square units r squared. Also recall, um, same as circumference, that if they asked for the exact value, you want to make sure you leave pi in the answer. Okay, and if it doesn't say exact, you can just use the pi button or 3.14. Alright, so let's take a look at an example here. We're going to find the indicated measure. So for A, we need to find the area. And we see that the radius is 4.2. And so area is pi r squared. So that's pi times 4.2 squared. And if you just put that in your calculator, 4.2 squared. is 17.64 so 17.64 pi would be the exact area and then if I use my pi button it comes out to 55.4 so approximately 55.4 meters squared for the next one I'm going to have to work backwards to find the diameter. They gave me the area, and they want to know the diameter. So I'm still going to use A equals pi r squared. So 201 is equal to pi times r squared. I divide both sides by pi. So 201 divided by pi is um, 63.98. So I'll go ahead and round that to 64 equals r squared, and so that means that my radius is 8. But I'm not done, they've actually asked for the diameter. So if the radius is 8 inches, then that means that my diameter is going to equal 16 inches. Alright, so Here's one for you to try on your own. Find the area um, and go ahead and just do it to one decimal place. And that nine centimeters is referring to the whole length there. Pause the video now. Alright, so you should have used 4.5 for the radius, and when you square that, it's 20.25 times pi, and so in the end, you should have gotten 63.6 centimeters squared. Alright, here's one to work backwards. Find the radius of this circle. Pause the video now. Alright, so you would have set 154 equal to pi r squared. Divide both sides by pi, you get r squared is equal to 49. And so when you take the square root, the radius is 7 feet. The sector of a circle. A sector of a circle is just part of the circle, a piece of it, like a piece of the pie. So to find the area of a sector, it's very similar to arc length. You just figure out what fraction of the circle you have and multiply it times the area of the circle. Um, another way you can set it up if you want to is you can set it up as a ratio if you prefer. You could do the area of the sector compared to the area of the circle is going to equal the arc degrees over 360. So that's another way that you can set it up. It'll work either way. So let's take a look at an example here. 
we're going to find the area of the sectors that are formed by angle RQS. So we're going to find the shaded area and then the unshaded area also. So my shaded area I've got 63 out of a possible 360 degrees times pi r squared times pi times 5 squared. And so if you put that all into your calculator, 63 divided by 360 times pi times 25, you should get 13.7. Unit squared. And then to find the unshaded area is just everything else left over. So 360 minus 63, and I've got 297 degrees left over that's unshaded out of 360. And again, times pi times 5 squared. And if you put all of that in your calculator, you should get 64.8. And that would be unit squared. So here's one for you to try on your own. Find the area of the shaded and unshaded sectors formed by the angle RQS. Pause the video. So for the shaded area, you should have gotten 74.9 feet squared. And for the unshaded area, you should have gotten 179.5 feet squared. All right, so for example three, I need to find the area of circle C. So I know the area of the sector, and I know my degrees, so I just have to solve for what I don't know. So the area of the sector is going to equal the arc degrees over 360 times the area of the whole circle. So if I want to find um, the area of the circle, I can work backwards. So the area of the sector is 22. And that's going to equal 45 over 360 times the area. And so I would multiply both sides by the reciprocal, although I'm going to go ahead and reduce the fraction first. Um, 45 goes into 360 eight times. So I just have to actually multiply both sides by eight. And then I'll have the area. So 8 times 22, and we get 176. So the area is 176 meters squared. Now if you want, you can also set this up as a ratio. You could have set it up with the area of the sector over the area of the whole circle equals the degrees over 360 and do it with cross multiplication. That's another way to set it up. Um, you'll get the same answer if you do it that way also. All right, so for this one, go ahead and find the area of circle G. Pause the video now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one uh, as a ratio with cross multiplication instead, just to show you how that works, too. So I can reduce my fraction, and 4 goes into 8 two times and into that 9 times. So if, um, oh wait, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, well, I can do that now. I can cross multiply. So 2 times A is going to equal 9 times 6.4. If you don't reduce it, you just end up with larger numbers, but it's still going to work. All right, and so um, I would do 9 times 6.4 is 
And so if we divide by 2, the area comes out to 28.8 yards squared. So you can set it up as a proportion and cross multiply, or you can just plug it into the other formula and solve backwards. Either way, you should get 28.8. All right, so for example four, a contractor needs to cut a section out of a rectangular piece of wood as shown to the nearest square inch. What is the area of the remaining wood? So what we have to begin with is we've got a rectangle, a large rectangle. And what I'm subtracting from it is um, Right here, this is 3 inches, so I actually have a square, so I'm going to subtract the square. And then I also have a semicircle. So it's going to be the area of the large rectangle minus the square minus the semicircle. So the rectangle itself is 11 by 7, so 11 times 7 will give me the area of the rectangle minus the area of the square, which would be 3 times 3, or 3 squared, and then minus a semicircle is just going to be half of pi r squared, so pi, and then my radius is only 1.5, half of 3, so 1.5 squared. All right, so 11 times 7 gives me 77, 3 squared is 9, and then if I just do it to the nearest tenth, one-half times pi times 1.5 squared, I get um, 3.5. And so that comes out to 64.5 square inches, which it said to the nearest square inch. So we would say 65 square inches. And here's for one for you to try on your own. Find the area of the figure. Pause the video. Okay, so to find the area of that figure, you would have had the area of the triangle plus the area of the semicircle. A triangle is one half base times height, and a circle is pi r squared, so a semicircle is half of that, so one half pi r squared. And then we fill in the numbers, half to, uh, 4 times 7 and half times pi times 3.5 squared, and this comes out to 14 plus 19.2, and so your total area is 33.2 square feet. And that concludes this video. Thank you.